Okay, so good day everyone, no? So let's uh let's finish the discussion for applications of indefinite integrals. So our fourth topic for this specific uh lesson is rates of rates of change naman, no? So how are we going to integrate the concept of uh indefinite integrals when we are dealing with rate, uh with rates of change? Okay, so Let's have here our first our first problem, no? So, sabi dito, for the first 10 days of December, a plant cell grew in such a way that t days after December 1, the volume of the cell was increasing at the rate of 12 minus t raised to negative 2 cubic micrometer per day. If on December 3, the volume of the cell was 3 cubic micrometer, what is the volume at December 8? So... So, yon, no? So let us establish few facts before we, you know, before we solve uh, this problem. Uh, going back to our differential calculus uh, class, no, on our Cal zero one class, no, uh, calculus one class. We all know that rates of change is also known as the derivative, diba? So we can safely say that uh, rate of change. is equal to the derivative of dy over dx. Pero in this problem we will be we will use uh dv over dt. No, so bakit dv over dt? Remember we are talking about the rate uh, of change in volume. Ito 'yon, yung volume. Okay? In respect to of course the time, no? And sabi dito sa problem natin, time is measured in what? In days, 'di ba? In t days after December 1. So this is measured in days. No? Ayan. So, sabi, no? Ano daw yung rate of change natin? Nung volume? Ay, increasing at the rate of 2 of 12 minus t quantity raised to negative 2. So, we have here 12 minus t raised to negative 2. Okay? So, let us, ano, no? Uh, manipulate lang natin yung uh, equation natin. So, we have here dv is equal to negative 12t, or uh, rather 12 minus t, raised to negative 2dt. No? So, syempre, kukunin natin yung integral, no? So, of course, we have v is equal to, in this case, ano yung gagawin natin? So, let's identify what is u. So, we have here 12 minus t. Of course, du is negative dt. No? So, therefore, we have here negative u raised to negative 2 du. Okay, so of course, lalabas yung negative. We have negative u raised to negative 2 du. So let's use a uh, power rule no? or the chain rule for integration to solve this one. So we have here v is equal to what is the integral of u raised to negative 2 du. So we have u and u raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1. So we have u raised to negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 over negative 1 plus c of course no so maka cancel to diba so we have v is equal to 1 over u bakit siya naging 1 over u kasi diba negative u rest yung exponent ng u natin so kailangan natin siyang gawing positive bababa siya so plus c and alam natin ano yung value ng u natin we have 12 minus t so our final at uh, uh, temporary rather temporary uh, equation for the volume is 12 minus t plus c. Okay? So, we need to find the value of the arbitrary constant. So, paano natin nahanapin yun? Balik tayo dito sa problem. No, sabi dito, no, if on December 3, the volume of the cell was 3 cubic micrometers. We all know that the volume is cubic, uh, 3 cubic micrometer. Pero, ano yun? Time. No? So, i-analyze natin maigi yung problem. Sabi dito, on December 3, no? 3 cubic micrometer. Going back to the uh, statements of the problem, sabi dito, a plant cell grew uh, in such a way that t days after December 1. Meaning, December 1 is our t0. Okay, and counting from December 1 to December 3, we have t is equal to 2. No? Uh, we, can we can safely say that uh, pwede natin gawin is 3 minus 1. No? Kasi December 1 yung reference natin. So, that is 2. So, at uh, at time 2, V is equal to 3. No? So, we have 3 is equal to 1 over 12 minus 2 plus C. 
No? So, therefore, C is equal to what? That is uh, 3 minus 1 over 10. That is 29 over 10, di ba? Or 2.9. No? So, either which, pero ako, I prefer using the uh, using the fraction. No? So, therefore, volume is equal to what? V is equal to 1 over 12 minus T plus 29 over 10. No? Ito yung pinaka formula natin, no? Uh, formula for V. Okay, ko dito. Formula for V. Ayan. So, ito yun. Okay? So, let's solve, no? D yung pinaka final na hinihingi. Ano daw yung Ano daw yung volume at December 8? So, ang kailangan natin is T, of course. No? And alam natin, ang formula ng T is yung date na hinahanap minus December 1. Kasi December 1 yung reference natin. So, that is 8 minus 1, that is 7. So, we have V is equal to 1 over 12 minus 7 plus 29 over 10. So, therefore, V is equal to what? So, calculate natin, no? So, labas ko lang yung calculate. Ayan, so Okay, so usugalan lang kaunti ito, no? Para makita natin Ayan. So Okay, game. So, let's solve. So, that is 1. Actually, that's 1 over 5. 12 minus 7 is 5, diba? Plus 29 over 10. So, we have 31 over 10 or 3.1 cubic micrometer. So, decimal na lang yung gagamitin natin. No? So, we have 3.1 cubic micrometer. Okay, so this is our answer. Okay, so that is how you solve. Uh, rates no using integral value so another example tayo no so we have here actually this is a val value depreciation and appreciation problem so this is used when we are appraising or uh, valuing something no na hindi na brand new of course no? so sabi dito the cost of a device is seven thousand dollars with its value depreciating at negative 500 times t plus 1 squared was what is its value after 5 years no so yun so ang ganun din no so dv over dt no since this is rate no dv over dt so yung v naman dito is value or the amount no of course t is time still pero this is measured in years no yeah so dv over dt so ano da yung rate we have negative 500 t plus 1 1 dt squared diba so rewrite ko lang we have dv is equal to negative 500 times t plus 1 quantity squared no tapos kunin natin yung integral so we have v is equal to negative 500 no uh t plus 1 cube over 3 nakalimutan ko lagay yung dt dito so plus c okay so ayun siya bakit siya naging ganito no so yung t plus 1 we treat that as u as if it is u then yung 2 ang kanyang exponent diba alam natin pag chain rule no so u raised to n du uh, kapag integrate is u raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c no so kaya siya naging 3 no so dun siya nang galing so okay let's solve for the value of c sabi dito no the cost of a device is 7000 dollars ibig sabihin initially the cost of the device is 7000 dollars so v is equal to 7000 at time at time what? At time 0. So, we have negative 500 times 1 cube over 3 plus C. Diba? So, therefore, we have 
ano yung value na si natin? So, we have 7,000. Diba? Plus, kasi negative yung pinanggalingan, so magiging positive to. 500. Uh, 1 cube is still 1. No? So, hindi ko na siya kailangang isulat. Over 3. So, we have here 21,500 over 3. So, C is equal to 21,500 over 3. Huh? So, or 7,166. Huh? So, ayun. Pero hindi, ko, hindi natin gagamitin yung decimal kasi mas, mas buo yung value kapag ka fraction yung ginagamit natin. Okay? So, substitute lang natin. We have V is equal to negative 500 times T minus 1 cube over 3 plus 21,500 over 3. Ito yung formula for the value. No? Formula for value. Okay? So, ayan. So, game. No? Sabi dito, ano yung tinatanong sa problem? What is the value? Uh, what is the value after 5 years? So, T is equal to 5. No? So, we have V is equal to negative 500 times 5 minus 1 cube over 3 plus 21,500 over 3. No? So, dahil tamad ako, no? I store ko sa calculator yung ano yung sagot natin ngayon na so labas ko ulit yung calcu ayan so naka store na siya no so okay so let's evaluate what is the value of v no so kailangan natin siya i-calcu so we have negative uh, negative 500 times yung t or yung pwede naman na ilagay na natin 5 no pero ako uh, ganito ko siya isusulat as if meron tayong t Pero ang gagamitin ko ay x minus 1 cube over 3 plus 21,500 over 3. No? So, or since nag-store tayo kanina, yun na lang yung gagamitin ko. Alpha 8. Okay? So, calc natin what is the value of x daw. So, di ba sabi natin after 5 years? Ayan, yung a natin, yan yan, 21,500 over 3. Ayan. So, we have the value is negative, negative what? Negative uh, 3,500 pesos or dollars. So, big sabihin, technically, wala na siyang value, no? 3,500. Or, sorry, wala naman tayong uh, zero na pera, no? Wala naman tayong zero na amount. So, I mean, wala tayong negative na amount. So, zero yun eh. Pwede natin sabihin na zero yung value. Niya, no? So, this is the answer. So, wala naman tayong negative eh. No, so, ibig sabihin, sobrang taas ng depreciation, or ano niya, depreciation rate. Like, in 5 years, nawalan agad siya ng value. No? So, ayun. Ayun. So, that's for the rate, no? So, I hope you guys learned something. So, uh, in, the, in the next topic, we will discuss methods of integration na uh, kung saan uh, we will be evaluating slightly comp complicated integrals no unlike yung mga nauna nating integrals na medyo straightforward dito mag uh, dun sa susunod na topic natin uh, i-discuss natin is uh, medyo kumbaga yung mga not common not common na integrals natin. okay so stay safe everyone and god bless